Good morning and welcome to Friday here on UK Gold, part of the UK TV network. Time to look ahead now at this morning's menu on UK Gold. We're off to the Crossroads Motel in a moment. Then Phoebe makes a drastic decision about her baby and neighbours at half past, before Michelle and Clyde see to unfinished business in East Enders. We've our regular double bill from Sun Hill at half eight. Then please say goodbye when the boat comes in an hour later, before we have a visit to the not-so-lucky Rhoda at 10.30. Finally, we head to Dallas at 11, where Mandy's about to reveal all... Swing in on UK Gold. If you think I'm going to fawn to some of the yobbos, we get in here. Oh, it makes me sick. Oh! <laughs> You're a waste of space. Oh! The Garden of Tunk Tata. Why don't you talk properly? <laughs> that gives you just some idea of what's going on out there. Saturday night from 8 on UK Gold. UK Gold leads you through the familiar lobby of the Crossroads Motel. Classic soap. statement to be rendered in triplicate unless otherwise stated by noon on the 29th of March. Ah, the day after tomorrow. <coughs> Hello, Jill Chance. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I haven't had time. No, I will do it, I promise, before lunch. Yep. <coughs> yes? Oh, hello, Nicola. Yeah, I'll come in now. Hiya. Oh, hi, Mickey. What's wrong? Oh, I've got a million one things to do, and I can't seem to get any one of them done. Now there's something wrong hey, with Hey, come feet. on, slow down, slow down. You'll disappear up your Mickey. own... Filing system. <laughs> Any, come on. I've got to take you away from all this. Oh, yes, please. I want you to come and see what I've done in the gym. Oh, I can't. Oh, come on, it's great. I've got my own office, and there's Kalamazoo card index Mickey, system... I can't. And... I've got to get this into the mail by 12, and now there's something wrong with these. You're still mad at me for last night, aren't you? No, I'm not. Honestly. OK, I, I was, but, I mean, well, like you say, if it's helped you and Adam clear the air, well, it's been worthwhile. Look, I know it's different for you women, but, I mean, we blag something we need a couple of drinks and ciders before we can be straight with each other. I just hope you're not going to make a habit of it, that's all. I hate being left on my own. Oh, little person. I'm not going to make a habit of it. But, I mean, you telling me Adam's being straight is not enough. I've got to see it for myself. I think a night like last night will do it. So what's your conclusion? I think it's OK. I think? Jill, I... Hi, sis. I'll see you later. Well, we didn't go in the end, so what difference does it make? But you invited him, that's the point. Don't think you should bother with him anymore. Why didn't you just draw up a list for me, Daniel? Who I can and can't speak to, who I should and shouldn't be seen with. Don't be ridiculous. Well, that's what it boils down to. Perhaps you'd like me to come to you first thing every morning to collect my itinerary for the day. All right, shut up, Joe. Forget it. I'm 
sorry. Why is it you think I shouldn't have anything more to do with him? Because he's a barman. We're management, and I don't think the two levels should fracture. That's just that. snobbery. No, it isn't. He's just a, a casual worker, joyriding around the world. He's got different attitudes and values to us. But his background's the same. His parents are loaded. But it's new money, Joe. Come on, it's acquired. It's not in the blood. Talking about me again, Danny boy? Yes, actually. Well, at least I'm in your thoughts. Daniel, could you spare me a moment, please? Yes, all right. Bye. So, how's it all going? Fine. Looks like they're going to enjoy all this. Yes, I think I am. Good. Give me a hand with these. Yeah, sure. Anyway, what are you doing tonight? Tonight? Yeah, thought we could take in a movie, go for a burger or something afterwards. Oh. Or anything, whatever you like. I don't think so, Barry, but thanks for the same. Is that you refusing or your brother? What do you mean? Oh, come on, Joe. You've got a mind of your own. I mean, when we're together, away from him, you enjoy yourself. You know you do. Just because he's so self-opinionated doesn't mean you have to be the same. I'm not self-opinionated. Then why won't you go out with him? Because I don't want to. Oh, why? Come on. Why don't you want to? Your reason, Joe, not your brother's. Because I'm management and you're a barman. I don't think the two should fraternise. Um, what's happening about the new chambermaid? What new chambermaid? Well, Lorraine's replacement. I don't know how they expect me to magic chambermaids out of the air at a day's notice. Especially this time of the year. I mean, it's not so bad in the summer when there are school leaders. Just hold on a minute, Kath. What's happened? Has Lorraine given in a notice? Well, didn't Mr Chance tell you? He told me he would. I mean, we're going to have to advertise again, you see. Look, um, you seem a bit upset, Kath. Go and sit down. Right. Now, tell me. What's happened? Well, I must say, to be honest, yes, I am a bit upset. It's the way they've gone about things. He hasn't given her the sack again, has oh, he? Oh, no! Mr Chance and Daniel have offered Lorraine a job in the leisure centre, and, of course, she's taken it, hasn't she? I mean, I don't blame her, of course, because there's more money and better prospects. Don't blame the girl at all. But they've asked her to go straight away. That's... that's so... that leaves me short. I mean, it's all very well and good, this shifting staff around, but there are ways of doing things, you know. Procedures. <sighs> Sorry, I, I just had to get that off my chest. Oh, no, don't worry, Cathy. You're quite right. Yes, these things should be talked about. It's quite out of line. I mean, good luck to the girl and all that, but... Look, don't worry. Leave it to me. I'll sort it all out. Obviously, I have to get a temp in. Um, will you be able to manage today? Oh, yes. Today is taken care of. So I've done it. Oh, Cath. Thank you very much. Oh, Cath, are these, um... Are these your house particulars? Oh, sorry, yes. They must have got stuck to the folder. Thanks. Mm. How's it all going? Fine. Oh, look, I've had a word with Diane, and she says she's quite happy to help with suppliers and caterers. I'm quite capable of doing that myself, thank you, Nicola. It was just an offer. Well, it's all been done now anyway. Look, why don't you sit down and I'll order us some coffee? Oh, hello. Uh, could I have coffee for two in the office, please? Thank you. You're looking a bit pale these days, Joe. Is everything all right? Yeah, fine. You're a bit edgy. Got anything on your mind? Nothing I can't sort out for myself. Well, you know what they say about a problem shared. I haven't got a problem, Nicola. I'm fine. Just leave it. It's all right, all right, all right. Just trying to be a friend. I'm, um, I'm really glad to have you back, you know. You won't be able to help anyway. Oh, try me. It's Barry. I, I think he's keen on me. He keeps asking me out. And you're not keen on him, is that it? No, that's not it at all. I do like him. 
Well, that's why I'm confused. Well, if you like him, go out with him. Yes, but Daniel says oh, it's not... Oh, it's Daniel, is it? Yes, well, it's common knowledge that he and Barry don't get on, but you've got to make your own choice, Joe. Daniel's decisions aren't always the right ones for you, you know. So you think I should go out with Barry? Well, if you like him, yes. Despite the fact that he's only the barman. Oh, come off it, Joe. When did you start to think like that? Well, it's just Daniel. He confuses Don't me. Don't blame Daniel. You should both of you remember that your father came up from nothing. He never forgot it. And he never tried to hide it either. Otherwise, he'd never have married me. Come in. Oh, Sue, thank you. It's lovely. Oh, just who I was looking for. What do you want to see me about? My duties. Find out what I've got to do. Yeah, well, uh, Mr Chancellor Daniel will be able to tell you more about those. I've seen them. They both told me what they want me to do. Mr Chance said most of my work is going to be with you. Oh, right. Look, Mickey, I'm not going to hassle you. Things with me are cool. I'm here to work, that's all. Well, that's great. See, I always knew you were a survivor. Oh. Excuse me? Jill. Look, just write out a list of all the things you expect me to do. I'll come back later and we'll go through it. Good thinking about that. Right, see you later. Right, got you to myself now, eh? Come on, into the gym and I'll show you my wall bars. I didn't realise Lorraine was going to be working here with you. Well, now that did I until Adam told me this morning. I mean, what's she going to be? I mean, your assistant or something. I mean, surely she's not qualified to do that. Well, I'm not really sure. You need someone who knows what they're doing. I can't see Lorraine being much help to you. Look, relax, Jill. She's not going to be my assistant. Anyway, I don't need one. I expect she'll just be tidying up the changing rooms, you know, changing the towels. Well, whose idea was it to give her the job? I mean, Kath Fellows is furious about it, and quite rightly so. And she's not the only one. No, I can see that. So whose bright idea was it? Daniel's, I think. Oh, it would be, wouldn't it? Joe? I was beginning to wonder if you'd been kidnapped again. Where have you been hiding yourself? Well, this is the way it's going to be from now on. We management never stop, you know. Don't start pulling rank on me, young lady. You're not too big to have your bottoms smacked. Let's not talk about bottoms and reception, Darby. Oh, no. How have you been keeping? Not bad. Just had a fairly interesting talk with Nicola. I'm glad to hear it. Now, Joe, don't you think it's time we went out on one of our burger benders? It's funny you should say that. Burgers have figured very heavily in my life today. Oh? But I'm afraid you've been pipped at the post by young Bazza. He's taking me out tonight. And what chance have I got with that competition? <laughs> well, there he is. I better tell him he doesn't know yet. Barry? Yeah. Uh, about tonight. Mm. Well, I've been doing some thinking. Yes, so have I. And I reckon you're right, Miss Freeman. Us barmen should know our place and not get fancy ideas above our station. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, but that's the way it is. Don't worry about it. I won't bother you anymore. See ya. Prepare yourself for Sunday night. I haven't been so excited since they introduced the American style siren. Oh, I'm waving a pearl. Yeah. I've no desire to spend my evening scrubbing your root vegetables. Oh, I think that would look rather vulgar. Yes, yeah. oh, yeah. fancy a quick one. <laughs> Get a good glass of toilet roll. <laughs> Save us from these lunatics. With the double bill of the thin blue line, that's Sunday evening on UK Gold. Daddy Shed, Mummy Shed, Baby Shed, Baby Price too. Focus do it all. You'll be amazed in just two days, quiz will fade away. You'll be amazed in just two days, quiz will fade away. You know, I can still remember the very first sweets given to me by my grandfather. They were worth those original. I was just a boy. 
I'll never forget that first taste. Sweet and creamy and uncommonly good. I remember feeling I must be someone very special when my granddad gave me his wonderful butter candy. Now oh, I'm the granddad. And what else would I give my grandson but my Werther's original? He's someone very special too, you know. Expand your horizons this June with UK TV. There's a new girl forced to share her space with the boys in the UK gold premiere of Red Dwarf 7. I said supper is ready. We interrupt this message to bring you a very important message. Back on Earth, Monty's men spend summer globetrotting on UK horizons. I'm going to be going to see what's happened to some lemurs. I said lemurs! In excess of £20,000. UK Style spends a day on the road hunting for antique gems. Surely fine. Wow. I'm going to sweat. <laughs> While UK Arena joins Pulp and Blur for a weekend break at Glastonbury. And on UK Play... Huge names in the world of rock and pop, as you've never seen them before. Jane is on the trail of the stars. Shh, you're not going to talk while I'm singing. Step into summer 99 this June on UK TV. You've just got to cause trouble, haven't you? But I know perfectly well what your game is. Jill, please. You can't bear to see anyone happy, can you? And it's Mrs Chance to you, too. It's your trouble. You're too personal. All right, Mrs Chance, when you've quite finished. If you want to have a row, we'll have a row. But do me the courtesy of telling me what it's about and perhaps I'll join in properly. Oh, you think you're so smart, don't you? Well, you're not smart enough. Mr Doyle is not interested in Lorraine and never has been. Look, hang on a moment. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. The reason why Lorraine is working here is because we need a girl and she's interested in athletics. Oh, come off it, Dan. Well, it's the truth. You're obviously paranoid. You're just trying to push them together, well, aren't you? What for? Surely they're adult enough to make their own decisions. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Mrs Chance has just finished. Sorry about that. A project like this is bound to give rise to some working tension. Jill, you remember Mr White, don't you? I covered the Miranda Pollard case. Oh, yes. But why not? Weren't you... you thrown out and told not to come back? That's right. But time and the need for a good review heals most wounds, I find. Well, I hope you're suitably impressed with all our new facilities here. If you'll excuse me, I must get on with some work. Charming woman. Yes. Uh, Mrs. Chance is the new manageress of the motel. Now that Mr. Chance has moved over to become manager of the Leisure Centre. Very cosy. One big happy family, eh? Yes, well, we find it works very well. Most of the time. Uh, this is the office area, as you can see, administration, that sort of thing. And if you care to follow me, I'll show you the swimming pool and the rest of the complex. Oh, fine. Ah, Adam, just the man. Uh, this is Mr. Jimmy White, the reporter who's covering the opening for the Leisure Centre. Yes, we've met before. Ah. Do you like what you've seen so far? No, yeah, this bit's OK. Well, I'll leave you in Mr Chance's capable hands. I'd rather be in hers. No reflection on your good self, of course. You'll get used to it. Do you think so? Yes, all new jobs are a strain on the old grey matter for a couple of weeks. I remember when I took over the Great Northern Star Hotel, I had 600 rooms to look after. All of them different. 600? However did you manage? Well, I evolved a system and after a time it became second nature. And that's what'll happen with your little problems at the moment. I mean, I know you're not just a pretty face. I don't even feel I'm that at the moment. You have other problems, of course. Yes. yes. Could you come see me in the office, please? Mm. Now, to what do we owe this visit? A matinee by public demand. <laughs> a well-deserved Easter break, more like. Ah, schoolmaster's perks. Singular. It's the only perk. Yes. Uh, would our fair housekeeper be the reason that you're here? Indeed it would. And this is the exercise room. Of course, we're still waiting for some stuff to arrive. Now, if you'd like to come along here... And, of course, with people having much more leisure time now, and it being a much more health-conscious society... Yes, yes, well, I've got all that. Uh, <laughs> will it be uh, open to non-residents? Yes, on an annual subscription, and then, of course, there will be a daily read. And you'll be opening a schedule the week after next? Oh, yes, yes, there's no doubt about that. Can I introduce you to my two assistant managers? 
This is Joanna and Daniel Freeman. Please meet you. How do you do? This is Mr. White from the Gazette. He's doing a write-up on our opening. Oh, I'll see you over there, Daniel. Uh, Freeman, you said. Are you related to Herbie Freeman? Well, I should hope so. He was my father. I see. So you've come to work at one of his outposts? As a trainee manager. Right. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Chance. I've got all I need for now. Good. I think that covers everything, then. Uh, your face looks very familiar. Yeah, it's one of those faces. Have you ever worked in London? Sometimes. I know where I've seen you. Back bar of the Harrow, Fleet Street. Uh, where else? <laughs> Look, I've got to get on. Daniel, why don't you take Mr. White to the rally bar and give him a drink? Would you please excuse me? Why not? And a chat. I'm sure we've got a lot of ground in common, Mr. White. Oh, I'm glad we had the chance to meet properly at last. Yeah, it's always nice to put a face to the name. Likewise, and uh, I'm sure we'll meet again, Mr. White. No, Jimmy, please. Jimmy. Well, I think I've all the information I need. Oh, some phone numbers, just in case anything crops up tonight when I'm writing the article. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Chance, what's Daniel, their number at home? Uh, sorry, I can't look up. You've got the keys. Oh, right. Uh, their number, do you know it? Well, Mr. and Mrs. Chance are staying at the motel at the moment in order to be on hand. <laughs> Mr. Darby, Miss Freeman would like to see you right away, please. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, what about Mr. Doyle? What about him? Well, what's his number at home? Ah, well, uh, Mr. Doyle isn't on the phone at the moment. Look, why don't you contact me here at the motel? I'm sure I'll be able to answer all your questions. Stephen, what are you doing here? I, th I thought you were digging the garden. Yes, but the uh, weeds defeated me. Huh? Is, there, is there somewhere where we can talk? Yes, I suppose we can go into the council. Yes, me. I've been an idiot. Foolish, stubborn, selfish. I don't deserve you as my wife. And what's more, my own son had to make me see it. Can you forgive me? What's all this about, Steve? Here. We're going to move. Oh, Steve. Oh. <laughs> Are you happy? Oh, yes, yes. We'll start house hunting as soon as possible. Well, actually, hmm. I think I've already found someone. Next here on UK Gold, we provide simply the best. Stay with us. <laughs> 